Tisk tisk, Gray. You don't play with fire. This game blew up very quickly. Um, Greg, I, I don't even really have words. Um, yeah, the plan the entire time was to backdoor him, but I think the reason he's getting so emotional about it all is because we figured out his plan very early on. A lot of us feel like he's the ringleader of everything, which is why we pulled Ryan Dean off the block because we wanted to backdoor Greg and we wanted to do it early on before he could get into other people's heads. It's been a crazy couple hours now. <laughs> I have no clue what Greg was trying to pull, but so many people are trying to form alliances now and I'm just left out in the cold all alone. Nobody's working with Connor. Yeah, right. But that was insane. Like, I just convinced that entire house to vote out Greg 11 to 0, unanimously. I don't know how I did that. Like, I completely, I, like, I just did that. I just did that. And I'm like high right now, like on this vengeance. Also, I need all this material saved for if I ever decide to um, audition for Big Brother in real life because literally I feel like I'm already a legend. Like I truly feel like that was like a historic thing to do. And so, man, that was amazing. So, yeah, uh, Greg kind of lost it there for a minute. Um, definitely didn't expect for my name to be thrown in there. I literally can count the amount of words he has said to me. So that was interesting. Um, trying to take it with a grain of salt, you know. Hopefully it doesn't mess up whatever game I have right now. <laughs> Especially since I never said anything to him. Um, preliminary thoughts. So at first I was like, hmm, I kind of want to do a wild card of someone that hasn't really been targeted yet. But I've also built pretty solid, um, like friendships, relationships, whatever, um, trust, rapport with everyone pretty much not even just the people in like our alliance but I've kind of been talking to everyone um and so I don't want to be too much of a wild card or throw too much of a wrench in things yet because I want to keep that trust that I have going with everyone and so I've kind of talked to everyone because of course after I won HOH everybody was kind of reaching out and saying congrats and asking my thoughts um, so I kind of asked their thoughts and pretty much honestly everyone is in the, on the same page. Um, everybody, uh, when I suggested or when I said I was thinking about putting up Ryan Dean and Devin, they all said that, that is what they would do because they have already been targets and they're already kind of suspicious, dangerous, whatever. Um, and so, and then everyone has also said that like whoever... I like vote for they would back me or support me or whatever and they've all said like hey if I win power veto which of course besides like Ryan and Devin I did talk to Devin but besides um that so that is kind of what my thoughts are right now and then power veto if one of them wins and uses it then I'm planning to put Ryan Marston up but that's kind of a last resort because he's being he's become very likable Hello, my beloved fellow house guests. I first want to say that I'm loving every second of this game with all of you, every twist and turn, and um, all the tea being spilled and mics being dropped. Living for it. It's great. Um, I also want to say that picking my two nominations for this week was extremely challenging because I'm having so much fun with all of you and everyone brings something different to the game. But I must choose two people to put up for eviction this week prior to the Power of Veto competition. And so my nominations for this week are Ryan Dean Williams and Devin Rodriguez. 
So sorry, guys. Hey, y'all. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Um, this has been a really hard decision. Um, but I just really, really feel like Devin so far has been a really good player. Um, he's kind of stayed under the radar and everything. And I feel like that could be a potential threat in the future. So I'm going to be using the power of veto on Ryan. So sorry, Devin. So Devin's been a target of Trey and mine since really the very beginning. We haven't talked to him at all, have no idea where his head's at. Ryan Dean, at least he's reached out to us. So the idea is we want to flip these votes and get Devin out. We don't want Ryan gone. We can at least manipulate him and work with him. Devin, there's nothing there. There's no ties. Friday. Um, I'm here at my local Mexican restaurant and this week I would like to evict Devin. Goodbye. Bye Devin. See you never. Devin, I'm sorry the boats fell this way. I did not mean for you to go. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I executed this whole thing. You are going home. I gladly vote to evict you. Devin, you should have reached out more, bud. Hey, Josh. Sorry, I'm driving in Atlanta right now, so tensions are high. Um, but I just wanted to get my vote in as quick as I could. Um, so, I've decided to cast my vote to evict Devin. We vote to evict Devin. I'm also in a car wash right now. Vote to evict Devin Rodriguez. My vote for eviction is Devin Rodriguez! Okay, I'm having an on location vote for eviction uh, today at Reynolds Coliseum, and to deliver my pick is my cousin Nate. Trey votes to evict Devin. Hi, Josh. I vote to evict Devin. I vote to evict Devin. What is up guys, the votes are in. Once I reveal the vote, the evicted house guys will just have a few minutes to say their goodbyes and get out of my house by a unanimous vote. Devin, you have been evicted from the big brother house. Hi everyone. I just want to say I'm having so fun playing with everybody. Um, my nominees for HRH were so hard, so I decided to just go by who I hadn't really talked to. Um, this is Micah. Apparently he wants to say hi. Um, my first nominee is Ryan Dean, and my second nominee is Caroline. Have a good night, guys. So I have no idea what just happened. Um, I don't know how I won that power of veto just skating by, guessing at terrible answers. But somehow I just won the veto, and now Trey and I have to figure out what to do with it. Currently, the plan is to get Ryan Dean out, but there might be a plan to backdoor Justin or Matt right now. So we'll see how that goes. Hey, y'all. I am completely shocked that I won this veto. Was not expecting it. Put random answers, but somehow I won. By the way, say hey to Rosie. Hey, bro. She doesn't want to talk to people today. Anyway, um, I am going to have to respect the wishes of the HOH and what I think is most of the rest of the house and not use the veto. I vote to evict Ryan Dean. And I am kind of sort of happy to evict Ryan Dean, but we'll see how this goes. Hope Trey's right. Hello, I'm so sorry it took me this long to vote. I was at the fair and I absolutely forgot. I'm sorry, but I vote to evict Ryan Dean. Hey Josh, once again, driving through Atlanta. Everyone sucks at driving except for me. We've got to stop meeting like this. Um, today, I'm going to cast my vote to evict Ryan Dean. Sorry I'm so late. I vote to evict Ryan Dean. How's it going, Josh? In the house, it's uh, me, Ryan Marston from work. Here to put in my nomination, and my nomination to evict is Caroline. Sorry. 
Bye-bye, Carol. Ryan Dean is with me now. I vote to evict Ryan Dean Williams. Three words. Ryan Dean Williams. Bye. I just got off and I'm deathly sick, but I vote to evict Ryan. Even though I saved him last week, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Ah. What is up guys, the votes are in. Once I reveal the vote, the evicted house guests will just have a few minutes to say their goodbyes and leave. By vote of eight to one, Caroline, you are safe. Ryan Dean, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. So this week went as planned um, for Ryan Dean to be evicted. Uh, Micah wants to hog the camera. <laughs> um, I feel okay. I don't think that I have any blood on my hands. Say hi, Micah. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs>